Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to do a review of the new FR Sky Taranis UX7. For me, the best radio at the moment and the best choice for either beginners or more advanced users. Compare a little bit with this model that so far for me was the best budget option, uh, the Tornigy 9XR Pro with the XGT FR Sky module. So very similar features, the most important features are almost uh, the same. I will talk about the common points and about the difference and why this is far better option. Okay? And at the moment for me if I would start I wouldn't have any doubt because for the price it has and the prices of the of lower models there is no doubt that this is far best option. Let's go with the comparison. First of all they have both the most common protocols PWM, PPPM and SBAS protocols. Both they have but they both they have because I had to add this module. If you, for example, have the DGT module, you will not have SBAS, so you won't have the 16 channels. Uh, still, you will have telemetry, but it's uh, at the moment I think better to go to this model that is built in in this one. So you will save first uh, advantage is that you will save a lot of time looking for where to get this radio and then the module so that's why I didn't talk about radios until now because I didn't feel confident to recommend this option for me it was the cheapest and the best option to get same features as the Taranis of uh, $230 but for only 100 or even less still SBAS telemetry uh, voice uh, alerts and so on for a much lower price but at the moment with this option there is no doubt no doubt that this is best option at the moment even for those uh, professional guys who are uh, participating in racing uh, competitions they are so surprised because they still have their Taranis that for them was still cheap because they are like the best pilots on the world and uh, that radio was about 230 bucks but this one for 100 come on is <laughs> 100 bucks and it feels even in some cases more quality and more handy to use it's amazing how they came up with this model i will quickly go through those common points so as i said pwm uh, ppvm sbas then they have telemetry both they have voice alerts they have sd card uh, reader they have usb they have uh, speakers output well they have plenty of sticks and basically that's all they share in common Let's go to the main differences and some of them not so uh, popular, not so I didn't see that uh, people are talking much about that. Why I think is this is one is better than Turning of course and any other one, even the Taranis of double price of this one. Well, it's very nice, uh, good looking. Okay, these pads here, rubber, eh? so it's not slippery. You have very smart position of the switches. You have a few less than in the other models of Taranis, but you have three position switches that besides it takes same space than mm, two position switches you have one additional mode to add yeah so they are symmetrical yeah you have there these two position switches and then you have these other ones should be fine for most of us and then you have these potentiometers also you can move it like this if you have a gimbal or something like this it will be very handy then you have this scroll well very smart if uh, some mm, car brands like bmw audi mm, and many other ones are using this for controlling the navigation systems it's because it's really much better you can move very fast and you can select easily uh, instead of using the uh, standard arrow so very smart decision winner choice what they did here and if you compare ah, the size maybe the first picture you see uh, of these radios is that oh it looks a little bit wider well, it's nothing comparing to the fact that it's almost twice thinner and well i wouldn't say it's uh, very light but it's uh, lighter than than most of the models and especially turning in an xr and uh, one of the things i will do i will remove this just because um, i prefer to to have as much room as possible in my bag in my backpack keep in mind that you can remove it and you will have a very thin design okay also the antenna has very good quality as you can see one of the main differences that you have this handle here is too wide you have the built-in antenna here very small from them but still since you will have to add a model here it will have the antenna here 
and it's not very handy. Also the fact if you want to have telemetry you will have to use this cable and here no cables is already built in and even no module that's why it's a little bit lighter because it's a built-in XGT module inside but still you can add your own modules of all the frequencies of all the brands of all the ranges here very 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 handy and let's go to a couple of features that uh, not so many people are talking about and they think they are very very important you have built-in options in this firmware of course both have OpenTX but here you, they share something that also the Taranis previous version had that you can update either internal module external module of a receiver or if you would add another one here you can also upgrade and if you have receiver module of your drone that is also a far sky you can upgrade through the port you will simply plug the right connections here and through the options here you could also do here but it was harder to, to do it you had to change the firmware uh, it was not uh, included in OpenTX uh, stock uh, firmware and you had to do some tricks and here it's far easier it will be something that for sure you will have to do a few times when you buy somewhere else your receivers and maybe they didn't have the right firmware to match uh, the one that is included in this other uh, radio so you will have probably to use that feature so um, I will try to do some videos or some explanations about how to do that it's a great option that is built in you will not need uh, the usual USB cable of FR Sky that maybe it's about 12 bucks and it's still not that easy to, to set and you will have to use uh, software in, in your computer and so on here you can do with the stock firmware and without any additional cables or uh, software in your computer and the other great feature also not so commented so far there are many videos about this radio but still not so many about this great feature that is the Lua scripts what is that? it's uh, some feature that was included in the other high level Taranis but was not possible to have in, in these other radios you can have features like uh, modifying the PIDs of your drone on the fly so for example you want to tune a little bit your settings because of your new drone because of the weather whatever and you can do from your radio you don't have to plug your controller to a computer and change it you can do it uh, from here so that's a very nice option and it's huge future what we have with that option still mm, since this is a new radio with a new screen format it will take some time trust me on this there will be so many scripts uh, and you will have so many nice features just because of that option that you will be surprised and if you can change for example like the PIDs you will have so many other things to change maybe you will be able also to have nice icons nice graphs and so on of telemetry that's a little bit fancy but still you will have many useful options okay so that's a very very nice feature okay as you can see the format it's far better no doubt that this is a great radio you will be able of course to use with a simulator like the drone racing league simulator also with a free rider fpv so you can have so many options with this radio it's a winner choice i would i wouldn't feel confident to recommend fpv goggles because of the huge difference of prices and options but with this radio best choice your money can buy i will try to do some videos in this series about how to configure some telemetry alerts and and stuff like that but still what i will try to do is to uh, back up my own configuration and upload it so you can have something to not to start to from scratch and not to be crazy about following some steps i will try to, to do that so you can add a new model with my own configuration and most of them will be uh, good for you as well i always would like to have voice alerts for the battery for the range and maybe for other things uh, in the case of gps like the distance and so on um well that's that's all for today i hope you like the video sorry guys that i cannot uh, upload as many videos as i would like it's also a little bit difficult for me to do in both languages in spanish and english i'm not very good in english but it's much harder to add the audio translation on top of the uh, recorded video than to record two videos with both languages and that's what i will try to do from now on okay guys thank you for watching hope you like the video if that's so subscribe please and, and like the videos that's a, lo a lot of help for me keep in touch see you next time